All right, hey Capricorn. So I'm going to do your general reading for the month of September. I'm going to pull an angel tarot just to get the overall energy, what you're going to be dealing with. The energy that's going to be throughout this month over Capricorn, sorry. Okay, Capricorn, so what's coming out for you is the Page of Swords, all right? Gossip. All right, so I feel like this right here, this energy is um, what your team is going to be wanting you to work on, focus on, all right? And I feel like it's not that you're going to focus on gossip. It's going to be the opposite of that, right? So I want to get the, um, let's see what happened. I want to get the overall um, energy that you're feeling currently. All right, so for Capricorn, what energy are they embodying? Currently, okay, so all right, what we have is, um, Temperance, the Seven of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so Capricorn. All right. I feel like, um, so with this coming out in your current energy, Temperance, okay, and Page of Swords or Gossip coming out for the overall month, I feel like what your team is telling you um, um, that you haven't been is actually a balanced individual, okay? I feel like... Um, I feel like two almost saying that, um, all right, this could be your energy, all right, um, it could be that you are um, um, around other energies that like to actually gossip a lot or they're not like the most high vibe um, uh, collective of individuals, right? I feel like... Uh, um, I, so what I almost feel like right here is, um, you know, when you are, um, if you're on a spiritual path or an awakening of some sort, which I almost feel like I'm talking to somebody who is, um, I, so the universe will remove energies that don't serve you. Okay. Um, so I feel like you're, you're going to be, um, I feel like you've, you're going through a, a sort of transition. Okay. And I feel like, um, some of these energies, and I feel like you have a lot of energies around you that are on, on a lower um, uh, playing field than what you are. Um, and I feel like, you know, this, this right here, temperance coming in, I feel like that's a direct message from the universe saying, okay, we're going to start removing some of these um, energies that aren't serving you because, you know, you, you're, you've become spiritually awakened, right? You've become woke, okay? But the energies around you aren't, all right? And, and, and they won't, uh, you know, they will take back, they will take stuff away from you if they don't feel like it's serving you for your highest good. All right. And I feel like this is going to be something throughout the month that you're going to be um, um, having to work on. All right. Um, and two, you know what happens when, uh, um, you know, people will probably say, oh, Joanne's acting all goody tissues and, you know, talking shit and whatever. But, um, you know, when you go through this journey, it, it's, it's actually... Uh, it's not, it, who cares, right? So, um, for Capricorn, what is the situation that led to the gossip? What's this? What's the situation that led to this gossip card? Okay. All right. So you know what? Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. All right. I have no Capricorn in my, my chart, but, uh, I, I just want to say this. Okay. I feel like you have gone through some sort of a um, dark night of the soul. Okay. 
um, um, you become hermit mode, all right? You go back within yourself and you're just um, trying to basically at this point identify what the, the purpose of life is, what your purpose is. Um, I feel like so you've, you've changed a lot um, about you, okay? And I feel like you're you're still dealing with some um, some older energies, all right? Some of uh, your your past um, crew, you know, the people that you hung out with, all right. But when you come on this awakening process too, it's like you you go from um, um, being one way to to another. And I feel like with this nine of pentacles, um, the I feel like this is you being kind of um, you know done. All right, when you when we wake up to we we I mean we find our we the goal is to find out what we're supposed to be doing here on a spiritual on the spiritual level but you know also looking for um our twin flame our soulmate um doing it together all right we have king and queen of pentacles so I feel like that's that's kind of the mission that you've become on all right capricorn um you're ready to embark on a new journey and I feel like people aren't liking um, um, I feel like people aren't liking this version of you because um, um, because I feel like well just to say it I feel like they think that you're better right so um, what is the second week looking like for Capricorn what's the second week in September looking like So what we have is, yeah, okay, so the second week, look at, we have the world card coming out, which is about um, 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 closing out, you know, um, cycles, all right, endings that no longer serve you, okay? So I feel like um, with the second week, you're, you're still going to be working on closing out some of these uh, relationships, right? The Seven of Swords, is a, that's a person, a mischievous person, that's a, it's a thief card, but I also feel like it's just a real negative energy, and I feel like that's that, that's what you're going to be closing out, all right? Um, co you know, conflicts, um, arguments. Just um, I feel like it's a whole it's a whole source of a of a negative energy around you that you're going to be closing out, all right? And I feel like you know <laughs> the universe is coming in, all right? Um, and two, it could be that you're manifesting, you're you're wanting to manifest some good stuff, like literally using law of attraction, okay? And I feel like, um, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles, that's a wish fulfillment card. Um, the universe is, is seeing your progress, all right? Um, they, they're going to continue to to help remove anything negative, you know, that's not serving you so that you can get to your, your goal, all right? And I feel like the second week of September here, you know, in the next few days, this is when you're going to start seeing some of these positive changes. So what does the third week look like for Capricorn? So this is good. All right. So the third week, all right, what we have is the moon card. Okay. I feel like um, with this card coming out in the situation, all right, this is uh, uh, for me, I, I, I liken this one to uh, manifesting. All right. Um, I feel like with this card, um, you know, the universe is telling you keep doing what you're doing um, and, and look to the universe too for answers. You see how the animals are looking up there. I feel like look look to the universe um, for answers, all right. Especially when you're finding um, yourself stumped in a situation, okay. Um, two with the third week of of um, September coming out, we have the six of cups, all right. And I feel like you know, um, with with where this card is, I, I feel like um, that queen and king of pentacles that we've seen, you know, that divine couple. Um, I feel like in the, that third week, you could be. Um, um, coming into connection with that um, individual that you've been seeking, okay? Um, because we also have the Sun card coming out, which is, you know, the happiest card in the deck. So here, you know, third week, you know, timing is also fluid. So um, 
and, and it does work in divine. So regardless of if this doesn't happen right on the third week, it's like keep keep your head up and keep on um, um, you know thinking positive and um, hiring your vibrations so that that person can come in, okay? Because um, the universe wants to deliver, all right? And what is the close of the month? What's the ending of the month look like? Again, yeah. Okay, Capricorn, I just feel like you have the energies around you. You Capricorn. All right. So I feel like you have energies around you. All right. And it might be hard to release some of these energies. Okay, we have the we have the strength card coming out with the page of swords and the five of pentacles so i feel like some of these energies and the fact that this has come out twice now they're going to be hard to um, release and let go of i feel like some of these energies you're dealing with are going to make you feel bad all right um for wanting to be better all right and it's not that you're better you feel like you're better than anybody um but i feel like their their energy you know is not serving it doesn't even serve themselves let alone you all right, so I feel like some of these energies, that they're going to start talking shit, but I feel like your team is telling you don't backtrack or regress, okay? Um, if you start hearing some, some of these things, you know, um, within your, your circle or your family, um, I feel like the universe is just telling you just just stay in your, your the energy that you are in, all right? Keep manifesting, meditate, um, keep thinking positive, you know, um, so that you can have the positive outcome that, that you deserve that you've been working for um you know and if these people are talking shit anyway because you're changing or you're growing as a person then you don't need them in your life anyway you wouldn't want them in your life anyway right so capricorn i'm just going to pull a card to close this out um, i will have the other readings come out um this week also so messages for Capricorn. All right. All right. So um, the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender, the outcome is <laughs> the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. All right. That's, that's a good one. All right. We have, um, I witness, um, I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you universe for guiding me to, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. All right. I surrender to a power greater than me. And then we have, in any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, prayer, contemplation, and stillness, four of swords, right? Okay, Capricorn, those are your messages for September. Um, I will talk to you guys soon.